Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to uh, show you guys how to install uh, The Sims 2 um, for free, uh, of course, <laughs> uh, because EA is not going to put it back up on the um, on uh, EA Play um, for obvious reasons because The Sims 4 is making them too much money. Um, and people are probably looking for more ways to play The Sims 1 and The Sims 2. So, I'm going to be showing you guys the best definitive way how to play both of those two earlier games. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have a way to play The Sims 3 other than just saying, um, you might have to give a little bit of cash to EA or pay for a Game Pass, um, in which uh that's those are the only two ways i think of uh actually like playing the sims 3 but um aside from that um i'm going to show you guys how to how to uh get the sims 2 to work um as well as settings um and uh even maybe some mods that i can recommend um that you install that are not necessarily fix mods because the method that I'm going to be doing are um do come with fixes already built in so um there's that um but yeah so the way how I did it was I actually did it through the sims 2 starter pack um and it's this first link right here with the uh, the you know the github.com link right here um, and it's gonna take you to this website if you haven't been on github um, this is what it looks like um, it is going to uh, these top files are just gonna show you what's in what's in it um, you know the components and such um, down here is where the magic actually sort of begins. Um, so, uh, there are two versions, which is the offline version. Um, it is, um, it basically, um, tells you which is which. So the web installer actually pulls the installation of these fixes and mods from the internet. Um, whereas this one right here um, allows you to just do it straight from your computer. Um, and it includes the same fixes as well as this one. Um, down here are all the fixes that um, it has. So it has the RP R2, uh, the Sims 2 RPC launcher um, and Brightcast Fix by Lazy Duchess. Um, RP R2. A Sinsu RPC um, is basically a uh, launcher for The Sims 2. Um, it fixes a lot of things, such as uh, it can add the 4 gigabyte patch. It can um, allow you to have a custom res resolution if you um, if you are into that. So um, you know, and it allows you to control the graphics as well, um, the graphics quality. Um, it comes with the uh, Visual CC um, Redis S86. Um, that's just some things that help you. T these two are some things that help you with uh, with uh, running it on modern computers. Um, another mod is the Graphics Rules Maker um, from Sim Network. Um, Sim Network. Uh, the Shadow Fix by Sim Note. No, no, knock. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, uh, color enable package. Um, uh, the Pi menu text string fix. Um, the AL UI font fix, which is, um, you know, on uh, Mansion Garden and AL, uh, Apartment Life. Uh, the UI text was a little bit small. This fixes it. Um, and a localized music unlocked. Um, which uh, I'm pretty sure just that allows you to like have uh, you know, um, like 
music that's not um that you can't normally find uh, yeah in the in the game anyways uh let's see um uh, dxvk i really don't know what this is um clean hood and templates this is the big one um so um so if you um if you don't know what I what why this is important, um, clean hoods essentially are um, they're normal neighborhoods, um, the base game neighborhoods. So um, like Strange Town, Pleasant View, all that stuff. Uh, Blue Water Village. Um, it says here Deserado Valley stuff like that. Um, all those hoods come completely like um, uh, come like predetermined um pretty much um so you know um and a, a whole lot of people typically don't like to play like i mean they'll play it on a normal pleasant view right but a lot of those pleasant views a lot of those strange sounds can have bugs they have bugs they have fixes all that other stuff um clean hoods fix those bugs and um glitches and they also add um a little bit of a i, I guess like a, a, what i call a, a, t a twist because they can um change townie names um they can also uh change the gender of an unborn babies and um as well as genetics um so you know, for example, uh, Brandy Brooks baby. If you have a Queen Pleasant View or a normal Pleasant View, it will always be a baby, a uh, a baby boy with black hair. Um, looks exactly like her, and it's essentially a clone. Um, Clean Hoods fix that. They fix a lot of issues. Um, and you without you know taking away from the scripted events and stuff like that. Um, and then uh, store slash pre order co uh content. So. Um, store slash pre-order content is pretty simple. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that The Sims 2 came with that it was not included in the game when they put it on Origin, um, back in the day. Um, so, um, they included all that for, um, so, but there are, just like how with The Sims 4, there are plenty of ways to install pre-order content um, on uh, mod websites. So um, you don't really even need to pre-order it. But, um, you know, it, it definitely beats having to look for it and stuff. And especially since it's all free. And it comes with baby toys. Um, it comes with a few, um, like, uh, it comes with clothes and all that other stuff. It, it's really good. All right, so depending on which one you want to install, there's um a full installation guide right here, um and um you could also choose from the latest release. I typically don't really do that. Um, there's also the Discord server here, um in case you need any help. Um, I highly recommend that you join it if you need help. Um. But this should be a pretty in-depth um, install or tutorial, so I'm hoping. So, um, anyways, this will take you to the latest post where it will show you all the fixes um, and all. Um, and right down here, you can install it. So, um... If you're looking for the standalone uh, versions, you can install it right here. Um, just to make sure you know which kind of processor you have. You, If you don't know, um, I don't think I have... Uh, come on, I actually have to kind of change it. But um, if you don't know what that looks like, um, you can easily go right here into your for, uh, file explorer and if you check right here you're gonna see that it says um mine says x86 
That is because I have I have an eighty six x eighty six pro uh, processor. Um, the reason why it's like that is simply because, um, you know, that's just how my, uh, Microsoft makes their shit. So, um, I choose x eighty x sixty four. If you have a thirty two bit processor, you would choose thirty two, um, or less. Um, so if you have like a 16, um, for somehow you're running it on an eight pro uh, processor, whatever, install it. And, um, pretty much then you're going to just cl double click on it. Um, if it shows that window protected your PC, just click more info and run anyways. All right, so next it's going to bring you to uh, it's going to bring you to like a, oh, hold on, I need to, all right, so now it's going to bring you to one of these right here. Um, this is the, um, so it's, you know, I'm just going to. Um, like do a little intro, you're going to press next. This is a whole bunch of legal stuff. You can just, you know, do that. Um, I'm going to go actually, uh, I don't need to reinstall it because it's already installed, but you're going to just press next. And then, um, it's going to show you a whole bunch of stuff. So, um, you can do a full install or you can do a custom install. Um, it, this will change based on what you choose, but um, pretty much um, this is almost always checked. Um, I like to install this, um, the cleanup script to game files. Um, and um, what it does is it reduces the file size the game's file size by 2.44 gigabytes but um it is known to have issues with simpe i haven't really even noticed any sort of issues with simpe um if you're really worried about it just don't click it um i keep all of these uh checked and then i like to also um click uh extra clean hood templates right here um simply because uh you know um it uh it fixes a lot of things and you can also add self hood templates um sub hood templates um and main hood templates so yeah anyways and then after that click install and then you're good to go all right so now for the sims one uh, there is a Sims 1 starter pack, which is pretty easy to install. Um, oops. Um, all you need to do, um, I'll just get it from right here. Um, all you need to do is, um, huh, I, I guess I can't really, uh, find it here but it's okay um sims one sort of pack so it'll show up right here this is the sims one sorter pack by osab um this is um by far the best way and easiest way to do it um pretty much you would just go through it like you would the uh you know normal one it comes with x84 this is meant to run on uh newer computers and older ones so you know it's pretty easy to get it to set up um as usual just pressed uh just press uh, more info and run anyway if it gives you that i i agree and you're just gonna like you know leave all these checked and then choose your file destination. I have mine set to the root of my computer. If you want, you can 
uh, send it to like an external drive or whatever. Um, I could probably show you guys how to do that, but um, it, it's pretty easy. Um, so what you're going to be looking for is another one of these. Uh, this is an SSD. Um, uh, this is a solid state uh a solid state disk um or solid state drive i can't remember what it's called um to be honest but um essentially underneath here there is going to be another one of these and it's going to say portable um portable uh extractable um ssd or storage um that's at least what I think mine says. Pretty much, you're just going to uh, click on it and then you press OK, and um, it'll create a new file where it can be located and um, installed. So, no Origin, no EA Play, no Steam. Um, this is, um, you know, it's uh, pretty easy to install. You just press a few buttons or you just let the game, you just like press next and then you're pretty much done. Um, that is how I got Sims 2 to work on my computer. And as you can see, it, it clearly works. This is the, uh, this is, you know, this is my game. Of course, I have, uh, you know, default replacements and stuff, but, um, you know, um, it, it is the Sims 2 starter pack. It is, it's all relative. It's, it all works pretty well on my computer because my computer is newer. It does crash sometimes. Just be warned. It will crash. Um, there are plenty of ways to fix, um, the, uh, the crashes, um, you know, pink soup and such, because I've had pink soup before. It, it really isn't all that great to deal with and it's kind of demoralizing but um i i i made it work and um another thing i would have to recommend is to not install too many mods if your computer is very sensitive um so i'm gonna show you guys uh the best place where i get my default replacements um there are a couple of different sites that I use. First is this site right here. This is the Sims 2 default database. Um, as you can see, it has a whole bunch of stuff um, that you can download off of here to replace all your hairs um, and stuff and clothes as well. Um, as well as skins and eyes and... and uh, I guess even NPCs and um, other creatures and stuff like aliens and werewolves and vampires, plant sims, witches, wizards, warlocks, that sort of stuff. Um, another place where I get it is the Sims 2 lot database. Database. Um, it's um, oh, it's the Sims 2 Watt Makeover database. Right. Um, this has a lot of Watt databases or a lot a, a lot of Watts that you can download. Um, if you click over here, you can um, go to a link that has all of the Watts from different neighborhoods. Um... I usually like to play mine CC free and I like to get mine from someone named uh, Plum Tails right here. Um, they make really good lots um, and on top of that, they're pretty easy to download. Of course, you will need the clean pack installer in order to do it, but they link it in their thing. So if you like Plum Tails Bob, uh, builds, Plum Tails Plum Tails Bobs, yeah, sure. Um, Plum Tails Builds, you can download them from there and the Clean Pack installer as well. All right. Um, next is, um, I guess, a couple of mods that I can recommend. Um, one 
mod that I recommend is Monit Hack Computer. Um, Monit Hack Computer is a really good mod that um, I highly recommend. It comes with, uh, it's a computer that allows you to use an, uh, a bank account. It allows you to take out loans. Um, it allows you to buy things from the um from on the computer like uh cell phones mp3 players um all that stuff um on top of that um it also allows your sims when you take out a loan or in or in debt they uh build either build interest or they um they uh you know um they you know um gain money to their bank account um so yeah and then there's a whole bunch of stuff here too like you can buy robots buy pets um jewelry clothes video games um you buy groceries and uh move to call or oh, oh oh okay um, anyways, but yeah, uh, essentially that's it. Uh, I didn't even know you could auto turn on, um, move to college, um, on and off. Um, yeah, I, um, there's a lot of settings that I, um, th this computer is really good. Um, I would recommend it and technically speaking, I don't really consider it CC so much as it is like a, a mod in itself. Um, Another mod I highly recommend is ACR. Um, this is um, this is a really good mod that allows you to kind of like um, it's it stands for autonomous casual romance, and essentially what it is is a mod that allows you to. Um, that allows your sims to flirt and date and stuff like that. Um, let me see if I can find a mod list for it. Um, oh, wow. Uh, I guess I'll just go through here. Um, it's a, it's, oh, it's a sims file share thing. Okay. So, yeah, um, essentially ACR um allows you your sims to risky woohoo sometimes you'll find sims 2 players like plus of sims cindy who do uh risky woohoos who do booty calls and all the stuff with uh with their sims um and uh, other autonomous uh things um acr is allows your sims to flirt um as autonomy to romance essentially and um it also adds things like fertility um it like kind of like buffs for lack of a better way of putting it uh the chemistry system um it just adds a lot more mechanics to stuff and you can put your sim on birth control you can tell them what they're you can uh tell the game what your ideal family size is so they won't like you know exceed that number um again risky woohoo uh your sims have a chance of getting pregnant um and cheating um oh boy uh let me tell you um a i don't condone cheating um but however in the sims 2 it is a core mechanic in the game and cheating adds so much gameplay to the game it is i love it um <laughs> is that bad to say i i don't know if i should be saying that but um acr is uh a really good mod to to have in your game if you really like gameplay if you really like to have uh you know your sims interact with each other and meet with each other uh have interesting relationships i can't tell you how many amazing things have happened to me like uh, like and not even amazing but like uh shocking things have happened to me when i have played with acr um 
I've had things like John Burb cheating on uh Jennifer with Brandy Broke, uh, and them having just a bunch of children together and stuff. I've I've had so many things happen. It is crazy. Um, and I highly recommend. I can't even recommend ACR to you enough. It, it's a good option if you um really like uh you know if you really like drama. And um aside from that, I think that's about it actually. Um so I gave you guys a few different uh mods. I gave you guys um a couple of tutorials for the Sims 1 and 2 where to find deep uh default replacements. Um and uh a whole bunch of stuff uh in all in under um 30 minutes actually wow um i'm sorry if my explanation sometimes didn't really make sense simply because uh i don't really do these kinds of videos um i did one i don't like to talk about it but this is a reliable way of a more reliable way of downloading the sims 1 and 2 um in 2024 um so there you go um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys appreciate it um if you guys have any questions uh please let me know in the comments below i love to interact with people so um yeah just uh let me know any feedback or things i can improve upon let me know and um, my next video, I actually have something a little bit, um, it's, it's related to The Sims 2, and um, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to surprise you. It's going to surprise you. It is going to be another neighborhood tour. I will say that. Um, but, and it is going to be Pleasant View. But it's not going to be the same pleasant view that you're used to. So I'm going, I'm really excited to show you guys that. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the uh, next video. Bye bye.